Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 29 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a customer that's buying almonds and walnuts at a grocery store. So we've got uh, one pound, 15 ounces of almonds. We've got three pounds, four ounces of walnuts. So we need the total. So that's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to add almonds and walnuts in pounds and ounces. Okay. So we need, there's no extra information. We're thinking that's pretty simple. So one one pound, I'll use the abbreviation here, one LB, and then 15 ounces, 15 and then OZ. All right, let's add that up. Let's see if we could just do it like this. I wonder if this works. Three pounds, four ounces. Seems pretty easy, but let's try it. So 15 and four is 19 ounces. Three and one is four. Four pounds, so four pounds, 19 ounces, easy peasy, except it's not there. So we knew it wouldn't be that easy. All right, so we're missing something. Let's let's go back to the drawing board. This is technically correct, but it's not how we would represent it. And let me show you why. Let's say you were adding 23 and 19. Well, you wouldn't say, oh, 9 and 3 is 12, and then... 2 and 1 is 3. That, that doesn't work. That's, that's all incorrect because, you know, we have to regroup. Once we get past 10, we have to regroup into the 10 spot. We know that. And it's the same thing with these measurements. So what we need to know is we need to know that when we're dealing with weight, 16 ounces equals 1 pound, and LB is our Abbreviation for pound, even though the word pound does not have an L or a B, for whatever reason, that's how we abbreviate the word pound. So every 16 ounces has can be changed into a pound, just like every 10 units here can be carried over into the next spot. So that's what we that's how we can envision conversions. So let's just, you know what, I want to draw what we have here. So I want to draw one pound. So it's going to be completely filled in here. And then we've got 15 ounces. So it's going to be really, really close. So if it takes 16, I'm just going to do a little 4 by 4 grid. And everything's going to be shaded in except one little one right there. I've got 15 ounces. Because if I had one more ounce... I need 16 ounces to get it to that pound. One more ounce, I could I could do it. So let's see what we have here with our walnuts. So I've got three pounds. So I'm just going to completely shave these in. That's one. That's two. That's three. So here's my three pounds. Let me label that for us. One pound, another pound, another pound. And then it's only got four ounces. Okay. So if I do a little four by four grid to show my 16 ounces required, well, I'm just gonna shade in four. One, two, three, four. So there's my three pounds and four ounces. Well, if we're adding all of these together, what if we took one of those right there and used it to fill this in? If I were to take one of these ounces away, I would now have a complete pound, and that would not necessarily be four ounces. That would be three ounces. So I'm just going to I'm going to shift that over there. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five pounds, and then I've only got one, two, three. I used to have four ounces of walnuts, but I gave one ounce over here to make this a complete pound. I've got three ounces. And that is the same as 4 pounds, 19 ounces, but it's a better way of showing it. Our answer here is D.